hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so currently we reached 276 subscribers so thank you of all for supporting this channel and today we are going to see about a topic called gallery view so if you see we have a gallery view in app sheet so if you press this particular buttons it will go to the particular views so see if I press this button it will go to this view and so we're going to see about this so same like that uh, we, we create a new app with five different views okay so if you if this view is very useful if you have more number of database table you can you want to handle and if you want to navigate to that particular table you just create a gallery view and uh, the particular action button will navigate uh, i will show you how it works and before that uh, if you are new to this channel just subscribe and hit the bell icon so uh, busy days so i couldn't uh, create a video for you guys before that first we'll check out the comments what are the doubts we are asking and if you are if you want to go directly to the dashboard topic you just use the below timestamp okay guys because i don't want to waste your time so just go to the below timestamps and you will get your respective topics so it's let's see your comments so please hindi speaking okay sorry i don't know hindi actually so i'm creating the video in youtube in, for english so thanks for and, uh, nice presentation actually stop the app sheet works due to lack of knowledge to complete your knowledge generation problems yes very multiple okay thanks for your feedback Gail, for 47 and thanks for sharing can i ask something in my project i want to develop approval to my customer without open app sheet can use to google form or approval button in email okay so without opening app sheet yeah you can just use the google form and uh, i'll just reply to this can use google form and connect with the two sheets yeah. so yeah guys so if you want to skip this uh, comments discussion you just see the below timestamps to get back to that uh, dashboard view okay sorry guys i don't understand hindi just someone translate this okay and whether is it possible to generate pdf file using whatsapp automatically okay so you want to send a pdf file to whatsapp so you can use business whatsapp api to achieve this i will research about this and i will make a video on this okay. thank you ramesh monday how to create invoice total okay so for calculate total i just create one small expression for you so we'll go to our invoice app So if you are new to this channel, I'll just give the link for this invoice app. Okay, so thank you. In the below, I'll just give the link for this invoice app, how to generate invoice and send to email PDF. Okay, please contact. Yes. So thank you. Okay. I'll check what issue is going on. Okay. I'll check the account. Okay. Plan upgrade needed. Okay, it's asking to deploy. Yeah, so we will just deploy it. <coughs> Security. Okay. Since you just got an investment, okay, we'll just make it in your sign in. 
okay so yeah so this we have already created a video for how to generate invoice so just look have a look and uh, so this guy asking who is this oh yes yes i was how to create invoice total right so we will check so this generate invoice opening this automation and here so if you go to a template okay so you want total price of this invoice right so for that we have to use the expression first uh, we are having that which is that source and so invoice list of items right so we have to calculate the total price based on that invoice id so this is one invoice bill so you want to calculate this total invoice right? so based on the invoice id we can able to achieve this right okay so i'll just write a small expression for this below we we'll say total Total, let's make it as bold. So, use this invoice ID, okay? And so, we will get that using this one, right? So, invoice ID, we are already using this expression. So, what I am going to do is select. Using the select statement from this table, and uh, we are fetching the price of the products. Sorry. Where invoice ID equal to say. This just copy paste this okay. The same this row will be equal to type this row dot set. and close the angular brackets. So we are fetching it the inverse list of items from this table. We are fetching all the price of that particular invoice, right? We are generating the invoice bill which has invoice ID and their products we are calculating. We have to add the sum function. If you add sum here, so I'll just close. Okay. So this will give the total one. So we'll just test it out. Just to create a new invoice bill, for example, maybe we'll add a product called mobile by quantity. Right, so total four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar. Maybe we can add another one. Top one. So the total is thousand uh, four hundred dollars, right? So we just test it out. Just refresh. After that, we are going to generate the invoice for this. So total thousand five hundred, five hundred thousand, thousand four hundred. So 
And let's open that invoice. So see the total value it came here. So using this expression, you can calculate the total. That's right. Okay. So you can. Thank you. Yes. And yeah, let's go to the our topic called gallery. So I'm just going to create. So in this app. So I'll just referencing using this app. So we have like uh, profile section we have and product section invoice bill, right? So I am going to use just three views, okay? For this use case, we'll just create a dashboard gallery view. Uh, in this, you want to go to the you want to see your profile, products, and invoice bill. So let's go to the UX. <coughs> let's create a new view. For that, we have to create another view called, uh, let's say, let's see, like uh, just giving a gallery view. Okay. Here, we um, can say, like, name of the views and just you have to copy this exact view name okay. one is profile and the one is products and the third one is invoice bill okay. yes, I so I have created a gallery view we are going to import this view First of data. Okay. okay, let's add this table. Invoice generation. gallery okay so i just added the table so like using the table i'm going to create a one gallery view okay in the ux you see the new view say gallery view navigations and just mention navigations and change this to view type to gallery so now if i press this we have to go to the respective views okay products and invoice so for that what we are going to do is we we'll just uh, we we'll just hide this okay first we have to create one behavior for this gallery view you see this is a gallery view navigation okay navigation action so this will go to the go to the another view within this app okay so here what we are going to use is link to view okay and just insert this name to view. So this I'll explain how this expression works. Okay. So link to view. I guess you know I first of all I'll tell you what link to view is. So link to view which will link the particular view using the view name which you are pressing so once i show the demo i will get understand so we created the navigation view for gallery view and now what we're going to do is uh, for navigations this is the navigation view right so we in this behavior 
if you see the event action for this view so this is the event action row selected means this are all on each row right so if you see this is one row this is one row this is one row okay so the row selected action we are going to change navigation action so whenever you press the particular button so it will trigger this action so if you see the navigation action and this action will link the view to that it will navigate to that particular views first we'll save this and this is the profile so when i press this profile now it won't go to the profile because there is no kind of profile products okay so now we have to create these three views profile products invoice bill okay so for that let's go to the ux and create a view so for products we already have a view for products okay and we will change this to deck view okay. so this is for products view and for profile let's check for profile so profile is also there we change this to deck view and change this to profile okay. so the, the main thing we have to consider is the view name okay so the view name should exactly match to this word so profile means you should profile then only that action behavior action will work properly so the link to view once you press what will happen how it works is the link to view profile the name of the view is so the view name you have to consider exactly whatever you say so profile means the same profile products means same the products and invoice bill it should be the same invoice bill the view name actually so for invoice also if you say invoice bill is there right so it's going now we change the exact names of the view profile profile and products we change to tech type okay now let's save so let's click this profile see there's a profile view it's going and i am selecting products the products view and this one invoice okay. so in this space you can use your navigation gallery view if you have a lot more views okay so thank you guys thanks for watching if you have any notes just leave a comment and uh, thanks for your support we have reached a uh, more than 50 subs thanks guys if you like just share to your friends who are want to learn app sheet okay and i'll try to cover as much as comments as possible so if you have any doubt just leave a comment and i will check if i don't know also i'll just research it and i will let you know okay so maybe this thing whatsapp api maybe you can use the business whatsapp api so i'll just try to research and i'll make a video on it okay so thank you guys thanks for watching i'll see you in next video